Hello and welcome to Royal Jest. Meghan and Harry have to change tactics as coronation signals royals won't back down. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should be trying to heal their relationship with the royal family. Now Charles III is on the throne, a former royal butler claim. So guys, as we get right into the full story, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, give the video a like and please watch the video right up to the very end. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will have to change their tactics now that King Charles III has been officially crowned, former butler Grand Harold has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have taken several swipes at the royal family since they announced they would be stepping down from their walking royals back in 2020. Harold suggested Harry and Meghan should move away from their current PR strategy to instead focus on trying to heal their relationship with the royals. He won, failure to change their approach could leave them facing fears of being the loggerheads with the institution at, as the family has shown they will not back down. The former royal butler said, The coronation signify, signifies the start of a new reign, it symbolizes the end of the Elizabethan era and we are venturing into this new domain of a new king and queen. It's definitively closure that part of the monarchy is done, yet the Harry and Meghan best-selling Netflix drama will inevitably continue. I would like to think it will stop, but I don't see that happening or that stopping. It should. You know, they should be trying to heal, but there is always going to be that drama, sadly. I don't know what the end game is. I really understand that they are issues. It's not just his family and it's the organization as such. I understand that, but what is Harry's end game? What is he going to achieve? That's the problem. Harold, who worked for the king for seven years when he was still the Prince of Wales, argued Harry and Meghan could still continue to pursue their celebrity aspirations without needing to involve the royal family. The Duke and Duchess struck a series of deals to produce educational programs and podcasts with the likes of Netflix and Spotify. After stepping down, Harry also released his memoir spare in January. The former butler continued to say, if Harry thinks he can change the monarchy, I just think that's not going that's going to happen. The king and queen and the organization that runs, it's a big organization and I think there's just going to be constant loggerheads over it. Eventually someone has to back down and give up. But I don't think the household will ever. He told Altpedia, maybe Harry and Meghan will have to change the tactics, maybe take some time out and rebuild their relationship. If they want to work in television, that's fine. Do the reality shows, but don't drag the family in it. Harry was reunited with his family over the weekend when he traveled to the UK to attend Charles's coronation. But despite being sat next to cousins Princess Beatrice and Eugenie, interactions with other members of the family was limited. The Duke also left the country immediately after the ceremony to head back to his home in Montecito to celebrate Archie's fourth birthday. A family friend claimed his brief stay had the royal family wondering why Harry bothered to come at all. One source told Vanity Fair. One makes one's choices. To be honest, um, there wasn't much talk of Harry at all. The focus was very much on the occasion. 